So we're on Vancouver Island. We're hunting with Canadian Guide Outfitters with Sean Lingle and Kelsey gets to be the hunter. A beautiful pregnant little wifey with a little bump with her 10 point crossbow. I am so jealous. Coastal black bears is honestly one of my favorite all-time hunts. <laughs> in the beginning, we felt our success could only be measured in inches, and we'll never lose that drive to go big. But there's so much more to it now. It's about friendships. It's about putting a smile on someone's face and giving them their chance to be a hunter. That's something to be proud of. Being a hunter, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the journey, and the inevitable fact that you cannot control the outcome and the mystery that comes with that, there's nothing else like it. It's who we want to be. It's how we want to live our lives. And besides family, it's what we live for. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at the ground times! Oh, he's so wicked! Hey, man. He just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for it for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. Go time, Code. Yeah, oh, go yeah. time. Go time. There he is, Sean Big Boar Lingle. He's famous out in these parts. Not famous anywhere else in the world, but in this tiny little part of the town. And it has been a dream of mine to come hunt with him. He's absolutely the greatest guide that I've ever hunted with and an amazing hunter. But instead of inviting me on a bear hunt, he invited my pretty little wife. I sure did. He's a crazy man. So we're on Vancouver Island. We're hunting with Canadian Guide Outfitters with Sean Lingle and Kelsey gets to be the hunter with her 10 point crossbow. I am so jealous. And I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Coastal black bears is honestly one of my favorite all time hunts. One thing that scares me a little bit is he's got running shoes on. And then we're going for a walk, Cud. Oh boy! And then the other guides—they're walking. They're like, "Oh yeah, you got this new nickname this year. It's called Legs or Legsy or something or Grasshopper. I'm not sure, but I feel like this might be a bad sign." You ready for this? Well, I just hope you don't put her into labor, Sean. You know she's, you know she's not in great shape right now. She's a little soft in the legs, and, mm -hmm. and, and I think you're worried about yourself more than anything. I didn't want to get to that, but yeah, that that could be the case. Maybe we should ambush one, you know, like wait on the top uh, of an old road like we used to. Like we used to? Yeah. You used to. Yeah. If you need more leg room, there's that seeking your way back. She doesn't Cody's need more got, leg room. Cody's got really short legs. She doesn't need more leg room, Sean. She needs more tummy room. You wait till Kelsey gets hormonal on this hunt. And Sean is like doing some soul searching like he goes off on a walk by himself and climbs a tree and ponders life because his client is right out of control. Richie and I will have like an hour break where we can go bear hunting, doing our own thing. Richie can catch a couple fish on his fly rod. Hey Rich? Yeah. Yeah? See, if you've got a bear break a trees like that, that, that tells you that it's a mature boar anyway. Mm -hmm. Like a young boar is not gonna do that. I'd like to be right in there. Yeah, just stay at just a bad waist back, like 100 yards back is great. Kelsey be up front. I feel really confident with Kelsey. Okay, see you in a bit. You just stay here and hold my water, okay? Kelsey. We're going on our first walk. First afternoon. So we're looking for our first bear. Such a beautiful country on Vancouver Island. A place where I spent so much time early in my hunting career. Sean and I had the privilege of guiding and filming together for seven years on the Jim Shockey team. That's where our friendship was created. Since those days, the chances we've had to hunt together have been few and far between. So this opportunity for Kelsey to go on her favorite hunt with my old friend was truly an honor indeed. Sean just spotted the first bear. So we're 
We're just trying to get a read on him. He looks like a decent boy, but we're pretty far away. When I first saw him, he was busting that tree off. I mean, that's a that's a dead giveaway for for a boar. But I just looking at his head just now again. I just my first impression is no. I mean, he's he's a nice boar, but he's not what we're looking for. Sean says that we can do a lot better than that, but look like a nice beer to me. The longer I look at him, the bigger he's getting, and that's a good time to just get out of here and pass him up. We might be stupid, but we're getting out of here. But he's, I mean, there's no doubt about it, he's a mature boar. But we have some crankers to go look for. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Limb Saver, products that work, 10 point crossbow technologies. There is no substitute. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Gwincher and Vortex Optics. My pal Sean had been scouting for us the week before and found a really big bear walking a logging road down to a big green clear cut in the evenings. The way he talked about this bear, you could tell that he had to be something special. On our first day, we waited until evening, the same time Sean had been seeing him the few nights before, and we walked up his logging road hoping to collide. Mountain humps, baby bumps, and upset tummies. I can't imagine what would happen to a man if you put a basketball in his tummy, gave him cramps, and gave him morning sickness, and a whole bunch of other things, I told him to go on to bear. He's a tiger. You okay? For sure? Yeah. Okay. I just have to go, I'm getting like Braxton Hicks. What's that? Like contractions, like, you know, those fake contractions. Oh yeah, you don't have to go any further, just, just, just go slow around the next one. Yeah, just go slow. final minutes of day one. We just got another stealth cam set up in the bush, monitoring a trail where Sean saw this big bear. We tried tonight. Did we try? There was a little bit of an intermission. Braxton Hicks. Braxton Hicks. It's not like Justin Bieber. It's not a, like a singer. It's a cramp. I'm cameraman. I'm crossbow caddy. I'm arrow sheath. I'm like a mental counselor too. We didn't get a bear on day one, but we did work all of the kinks out and made it home in time for an amazing home-cooked meal at Sean's beautiful lodge, where we had the chance to share hunting stories with Sean's other guests he had in camp for the week. Something that I've realized over time that this part of the puzzle is just as enjoyable as the hunting. On the morning of day two, I finally spotted my first bear. And since I was the only one that saw him, I explained to the whole team what needed to be done to attack. Apparently, by the time we got there, my so-called giant bear sprouted wings and flew away. Cody so badly wants to see a bear. He, now he's making up sightings. It's sad. It is sad. And we actually do stalks. And there's absolutely nothing. You guys, you don't know where there's dens. There could be a den right here. This is why he's the guide and you're the backup cameraman. People turn on each other after a few days. Everyone's turning on. Six months pregnant and it's 32 degrees and you just screwed up. So you're gonna carry this back to the truck for me. Oh, welcome to the gun show. Your arms, Kelsey. Oh. Wish I could say the same about you. Oh. That's gotta be fresh. Sean and I both worked for Mr. Shockey. He slammed it into our heads that if you wanted to be an outfitter, you definitely had to have good food and good lodging because the hunting wouldn't be so perfect all the time. So those other things could not be compromised. I want to say right now. Sorry, I tried doing a bird for you, but that's oh, the best I can do. Oh, that's a swan, actually, Sean. That's perfect, thank you. You're welcome. 
That's service. Not only could I not spot bears or have the rights to go on stocks, now my old bear hunting bestie was working overtime to swoon my six months pregnant bride. Even though it's out far away, you can tell it's a smaller bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. fun stuff. That is so fun. If you think you can eat the food that we get to eat, all the seafood here on the West Coast, and see the animals that you do, saw 11 yeah. bears today. Yes. Saw a lot of bears yeah. today. Yeah. Fresh halibut and ling cod, locally caught. Sweet. Sass is getting at it again. Hey Sass, you feeling snacky? Yeah. <laughs> Pregnant girls are different creatures. We got to a slash and we can see, I think eight different bears above us, out to the west, and most importantly, one down kind of below us. where we saw this bear and things will get exciting. Nothing we can do about that. 
We get the wind in our face the whole time, just smoking in our face. As soon as we got to these trees here, it started swirling. Sean was getting us into some serious bear encounters, but as the week went on, it was becoming evident that if we wanted a guide, a pregnant hunter, and two cameramen to get within range with our 10-point crossbow, we definitely needed the right opportunity and setup. On a very exciting note, with the days that passed by, it was time to check the stealth cams. And not only did we get pics of bears and cougars, we got a photo of the big one Sean was hoping for. Okay, we are just driving down this road and I was looking out my window and I saw what I think is a bear standing in the trees and I'm about 99.3% sure it is a bear but with our wind we had to keep coming past him and we're just gonna hike and make our way back to where I saw him. The way she reacted when she saw this bear she nearly gave birth so I'm sure it's a bear I'm positive it's a bear. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Diamond Archery, Cutting Edge Innovations, Rage, Leading the Evolution in Lethal Technology, Walker's Game Ear, Protect It or Lose It, Cooper Firearms of Montana and Heater Bodysuit, Mossy Oak and Nomad. Right there. Right there. Where's your oh beard? my god. Good job. Good job. Look at his shoulders. Kels. Oh my god. He did an amazing job. <laughs> amazing job. Holy, look at this thing. Oh man. Look at his coat. Look. His coat is perfect. Oh, look at that thing, Kelsey. Oh, what a toad. Oh my god. Look at the size oh, of that head. 
It's so Look heavy. Look at his tiny little ears. <laughs> what a beast. Oh. What a amazing hunt. I mean, how many encounters did we have over the last five days? And it all came together perfectly with the perfect bear it on the last night. Well, I had my 54, but I think by the time uh, we got set up and he, he took a few more steps, I'm pretty sure he was over 60, but Ty, you yeah. made a great shot. Between the 10 point crossbow and my rage broadhead, how far do you think he went? Maybe 300 yards max. max yeah, I don't so even think that. Not even that. Honest to God, Sean, this is my favorite hunt of all time. Just the weather, the people, everything has just been so phenomenal. Your operation is top notch. Your guides are phenomenal, your food is phenomenal. I had a ball. Well, we likewise, we had an absolute blast and I think we can both say it's hard to call this work. 100%. <laughs> when you're having this much fun. <laughs> to follow the Lift to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, I'm going after North America's most popular big game animal to hunt with my diamond bow. Just like every other fall in the first week of November, I hike into Canada's northern forest with my heater bodysuit over my shoulder and a year's worth of desire to not return without a buck I'm focused on. If you're a whitetail hunter that craves the sight of black antlered bush bucks, this is the one for you. See you next week.